guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today is going to be an awesome day because I'm going to finally paint the kit. I finished block sanding all the pieces, which took me several hours, but I didn't film that so I could skip over it for you guys because it's kind of boring. So next, one of the things I want to do is go ahead and peel the car so that way it's all going to be black when I go ahead and put the flares on. So I'm going to start with peeling the car and then I'll get to building a booth and painting the flares. Uh, it's been a little while since I had the camera rolling, and sorry it's loud, but I have fans going on. Um, essentially, I finished the paint booth, and I wanted to show it to you guys real quick. So here's the paint booth. Um, obviously, it's bowing a lot in the center, but uh, I just should have put a support there because it was too long, but I didn't think about it. So I've got my exhaust fan right here. I've got an intake fan over on the other side. In hindsight, I probably should have had my intake fan on that side of my exhaust fan over here, but uh, just to, to not be able to go so straight through. I started doing primer. I haven't primered all the pieces yet. I just did my front bumper and my front fender. So here's the bumper. It's not finished getting primered yet. There's, it's still patchy. I've actually got some body work I need to do to this. Uh, there's some spots that I'm not too happy with. The filler primer is doing okay on some of them, but some of them are just too, uh, too big. Here's the, uh, the fender, um, then I have all my pieces to the kit, so I'll uh, got to figure out a better way to prop these up because I, I need to hit those edges, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure what to do. Here's my main table, but I have plenty of room in here. The other thing I did was I put a T in here, or an X, I mean, uh, so I can run my air hose, and then uh, that way I can have a secondary air hose sitting there, which will allow me to move around um, and be good to go. All right, so there it is. I've got to go in and we've got to primer the pieces of the kit. I'm going to let the other parts dry and then I'll pick back up with you guys and show you what I've done. All right, guys. So the booth is all uh, rearranged now. The um, All the pieces of the kit are primed and cleaned up and ready to go. They've been sanded with, uh, I think, 400 grit is what I went up to uh, for my paint. So everything's good to go. I did a little bit of adjusting on this table here. I've got it laid out so I can spray a little bit easier. So I've got um, my fenders over here. I got some of uh, the smaller pieces laid up a little bit higher. And then I've got brand new filters on both my fans, which pull the air through really, really well. It's looking good. I think it's going to work really good. Next thing to do is go ahead and mix up the paint and uh, start spraying the paint down. Also, you guys can see I've got my uh, hose coming through my X and then I've got my secondary hose in here so that way I can move around and have tons of freedom of movement. I'm not having to worry about dragging the uh, cable or dragging the hose all the way through the booth. That'll be super nice. I'm going to go ahead and get to mixing paint. Uh, if I seem or sound a little bit tired, it's because I am. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning right now. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get to work and uh, get paint on these pieces.
All right guys, so I finished all the coats of black. Um, I ended up doing three. So here, it's been a little while, so it's kind of dried a little bit. But this is what I'm looking at. There we go, cool. So obviously they're not 100% perfect. I'm not, I'm not a master at this. Uh, painting is something I've done before, but I'm not the best at it. <coughs> but uh, my gun is actually set up really well right now. I got it dialed in pretty good. And uh, so I'm really happy with the, uh, how everything is spraying, um, how the black's coming out and how it's laying down. This looks pretty good. No runs anywhere. Um, pretty, pretty nice black color. So next thing is to shoot clear. Um, I've got to change out my air filter because this is what it looks like. It's just straight black. That started out white. Um, so the cool thing is is that the fans are working extremely well pulling out all the fumes and the particles out of the air So there's not a whole lot of stuff dropping down back on top a bunch of overspray into my paint So it still looks good my heaters in here. I have two oil heaters I think I showed you guys those already, but they're set up as high as they can go and it's about 73 75 degrees in here So it's perfect. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing clear up and uh, get that sprayed on the parts Oh, and for what it's worth, I did already clean my gun. So I used some lacquer thinner and cleaned out all the internals, took the gun apart, cleaned every inch of it, put it back together so now I can spray clear and I don't have to worry about little flakes of dried black spraying through my gun uh, in my clear coat. So hopefully uh, I have a really clean clear coat. Alright guys, so I just put on the last coat of clear um, and then I cleaned my gun. That's all done, so let me get you in here. Still a little fumey in here, but not too bad. I ended up doing three coats of clear. Um, that seemed to be enough. I only had one issue with my spray gun spraying out a speck and it ended up being white, which is super annoying. But uh, what I'll end up doing is after these cure and, and uh, set for a little while, I'll go ahead and wet sand it out. I can show you that in a second, but here's the... Uh, here are the finished products. It's, sorry, it's really dark in here. Um, I don't want to unplug one of the heaters because I want these to bake at the right temperature. But you can see, I mean, they're super glossy and it's amazing what three coats of clear will do. I'm really happy with them. I mean, I know they're not perfect. <laughs> I mean, I'm not by any means uh, a good painter, a good automotive painter, but I uh, did, did my best and like I said, I'm happy with it. And, Maybe after some good wet sanding and a polish, these will be, uh, I'll get some of the orange peel out of there. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy with how this fender turned out. And then the bumper looks pretty good. I'm not in love with the, uh, the texture of the bumper. I should have sanded it down more, but I rushed it. But it doesn't look awful. It's just, I mean, <coughs> it's about the same as my fenders. Uh, so it'll all match, but, uh, but yeah, so, I'm really happy, it's all glossy. I'm just excited because now, uh, once these cure, I can get them on the car <coughs> and uh, drive it to Import Alliance, which is in a few days. It's like in four or five days, something like that. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get out of here and then I'll pick back up with you guys in a little bit. I've been waiting for this for like a year. Yeah, it's been, it's been a while.
All right, so I know it's been a while since my last upload and I apologize, but honestly getting the car ready for Import Alliance, uh, whichever weekend it was, it was really stressful and hard to film and get the car ready in time. So I ended up not filming as much as I wanted to. Then I didn't even have time to get all the footage sorted and everything uh, with driving all the way to Atlanta, prepping the car, that kind of stuff. Now, the reason I can't show you guys that now is because quite honestly, there is not enough space on my computer to be able to edit all 200 gigs worth of footage that I have of me painting the car and uh, putting the car together. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna cut the video off here and I'm gonna go for the next episode. It'll be the finale of completing the car and getting it drivable and on the road so I can enjoy it. So that's what's coming up next. Um, hopefully you guys are excited about that. Not trying to draw it out, I just don't have space on the computer. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a like, I'd really appreciate it. If you guys have not already, make sure you guys subscribe. That way you can see the last video of the DIY wide body series and you can see the car finished. I think it looks awesome and uh, I can't wait to see what you guys think. And then that way you guys can stay tuned for all the projects that I have coming up for that car. I've already got some things in the works, so that'll be super awesome. And then also if you guys wanna check out the latest content on the car, you guys can go to my Instagram and that'll be linked in the description box down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me. I really appreciate it and I will catch you guys in the next video.